Hi, it's Sandy Parker, and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. Today we're going to be making an offset pattern. I'm starting out with um, a dark, darker colors and very pale colors. You can't even see the white on this. I've already stamped it, but I'm going to stamp a couple more just so you can see it. Well, actually one more in this kind of um, light purple color. And the important part of doing any kind of um, tone on tone is that you make sure that when you do this, you're only offsetting it a little bit. So I'm going to line up my paper, which is five and a quarter inches tall by four inches across. I'm going to line it up and I'm going to put it right there in the bottom right hand corner like that. And then you're just going to rub it with your hand. This is the easiest way to make sure that you get these exactly where you want them. That's the key, is making sure I've been really inking. So I have lots of ink on my hands already. I tried some projects that were real fails today, and so now I'm hoping this one won't be. So the next thing you want to do is you want to clean your stamp really well, and I'm going to use uh, some of my spray and get that off, and I'll be right back. So now I'm going to use uh, some craft inks, which are a, a pigment ink, and they dry very slowly, and I, you can hardly see the white on this, so I thought I would go over it with this pink, and it's no longer sold by Stampin' Up!, but you can buy pink pigment inks. Um, there's a lot of companies that make it. I was looking for the name of it, and of course, it's, I don't know. I'll, once I close it up, I'll know the name. I want to make sure I stamp it the same direction. I think it goes like this. Okay. Let's see if that pink comes shows up. I hope it does. Ooh, that's pretty. Can you see that? Isn't that gorgeous? I love that. Frisky! Making me happy. Okay, I'm going to put that one aside, and then I have another one here that's in that pink that I did with the white, and I'm going to try it with this one that's called Positively Pink, and see, it's a little bit darker. Uh, I'm going to show you what color this one was. Ugh. It was pretty in pink. This one, and you can see the colors on the lid. See how much darker the Positively Pink is going to be, hopefully. If it's not dry, hopefully it's not. Like I said, these are old, and I haven't used them in a very, very long time, so making sure that ink comes out of them is going to be the key. And then I want to make sure I stamp it with the same direction. It goes this way. Just a little bit offset from what I was before. It doesn't matter if you get ink on the back because this is just, um, you know, this is just the background of our, or our, the back of our paper. We're not going to see this, so if it gets ink on it, it's not a big deal. Isn't that pretty? I really like that. When you have that kind of look, like, just so delicate like that, I just love it. Okay, let me tell you what I did with the purple ones, and we'll see what we what we want to do next with them. What I did, I'm just kind of wiping off some of that pink so that we can go on to another color. What I did with the with the purple ones is I colored them with uh, some oxide inks. And what I'm going to do now, hopefully, is I'm going to use my white ink and go over it again. Where'd it go? Why? Why do these things always happen? Okay, there it is. Whew! had a moment there. Um, I'm going to go back over it with the white and see if we can get a really good image. I did use the heat tool and dried that so it's nice and dry, hopefully. And, then we'll, and these inks I'm using, this is the Hero Arts Unicorn White. It's a great pigment ink. It's very white, very vivid. Doesn't dry fast, but that's the nature of pigment ink. Now this one I want to line up with the begin where I did at the beginning because I want my flowers to be exactly where they were when I started because that's where I colored them. That's pretty cool. Are you impressed with that? 
I'm pretty impressed. I'm almost patting myself on the back. Holy cow. I'm happy about that. Then I did these ones where I just colored in the green. I still think I'm going to go over, do the white again and um, play, you know, do the same thing only in white. This stamp I'm using is an old stamp. I, it is a rose background from Stamp classics I think. Hold on, I'll get that in a minute. I just want to give you the stamp this first. And again, we're stamping it exactly where we stamped originally. It's this way. Hopefully. And it just makes it so that the leaves will look like their color, you know, the they, they'll have um, a center, a line through the center of them. I think it'll be really cute. Fun! Look how fun that is. The green almost glows. I'm digging this. All right. Um, so we have one that the green is colored, but not the purples. We have this one where the purple centers are colored and so is the green and I thought what I would do is uh, maybe color the pinks are very delicate I don't know if I want to do something with them or not I can't decide maybe I'll do this one again with the uh, darker pink I'll have to clean off this I need to uh, stamp this one yet with my white what, where do I, what do I, how do I do these things I don't know I'm really, I really think these are cute, and I think they'll make really nice little cards. Just think they might. Ooh, almost dropped it. That would have been pretty, huh? Frisky. Pretty frisky. All right, let me clean this off, and I'll be back in a second. I'm going to try this white um, Uni Posca marker see if it'll work. I just like to have, I'd like my white to be just a little bit more vibrant than it currently is. this one. I think it's really frisky. This one, I, I mean, it's okay. It, there's n there's no real highlights to this one. It is, it is got, if you look at it really closely, there are, are um, other colors stamped in there. So it is kind of frisky, but um, I kind of like this one better with the scribbly effect. And then um, this one is very similar to that one. Then we have our pink one, and I think I'm going to do some of the same with the pink where I'm going to just put some of the white around it like that. But now that I've done those two flowers, you can see it a little bit better, I think. I have this one left that I haven't done anything with, and I think what I'm going to do with it is stamp um, a darker tone on it. And let's see. Vintage violet, maybe. Could go with Concord Crush. I think I'm going to go with this one instead. And see how it does. It's very dark. Moving it off center just a little bit. Not a ton. Oh, that's kind of fun, isn't it? Okay. So that's all for right now. I think next thing we're going to do is find a sentiment and decide how we want to um, turn these into cards. They're kind of fun. I like them. I'll be right back with some ideas. 
So here's what I've done so far. I've gotten a card piece of cardstock that's eight and a half inches long and five and a half inches tall, and I scored it at four and a quarter to make what's called an A2 size card. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to paint my leaves or not. If I do paint my leaves, what I'm going to do is take a piece of acetate, which of course I have on my desk somewhere, but I can't see it. There it is. Tricky little bugger. And I'm going to just take some old olive ink, smash it on my mat, and squirt a little bit of water on that. Oops. And then I just get my paintbrush and smear it around a little bit. And I'll just go in and just paint in these leaves very, very quickly and um, not too painterly. Is that a word, painterly? I'm using it. If I could use it in another sentence, I would, but I'm not going to because I can't think of another sentence to use it in. Oops, my hello came off. Um, I'm going to have Rich fast forward this so that you do not have to endure me painting slowly as a little tortoise. I did die cut out the word hello from a stand, uh, die set that, here it is, that was from Serendipity Stamps, $7.25, hard to believe. Anyway, I stamped it, or uh, die cut out. When you do this, it's really important that you keep your pieces, and I'll show you why in just a second. You don't want to lose anything out of this die cut because you're going to need everything that's in it. And I wanted to show you how to do this in case you didn't know how and you wanted to learn. This is how you do it. You very gently take your die cut out. That little E does not want to come out of there to save its life. It's thinking it's going to live there forever. Okay. I don't need this, but I do need this little pop out right there. I won't need that because... I've um, die cut out in bright pink uh, the word hello. First, before we go any further, I'm going to make sure I have all my little pieces. I'm going to attach this to my card base. And I'm using uh, easy scrapbook adhesive, easy runner. As you know, I have about 50,000 different tape runners because of that video I did. And every time I get rid of one, I get all excited because. <laughs> It's one less I have in my drawer. I know I shouldn't look at it that way. I should go, oh, I'm going to hope I keep these forever. These um, little tab things are, are not as much fun as the regular ones because they're hard to bend over. Regular adhesive, you can just kind of bend it back on itself, but this you can't do that with very easily. Okay, I'm going to lay this on my card base. You do want to try and um, put a little adhesive on the back of your hello. Now, in my case, because of those little tabs, I couldn't do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I'm going to just, I have this Zig, uh, Zig two-way glue pen, I think it's called, and I'm just going to use it, and I'm going to put a lot of glue in under here all over, and hopefully... It will all stay. Okay, I'm going to put that piece down. Push this piece down. Okay. And you want to get in all your little holes. Woo! That's not good. You just want to make sure that you cover everything you can with glue. Okay, we'll see how I did. And then you take your new die cut and you're going to start in a spot that's easy like in my case the easiest spot was this little curly cue and it um, helps you to lay everything else in place okay then you're going to take the things that you have left over and you're going to pop them back in where you took them out of whoops and this one in here 
don't when you do this try not to pick a die that's really that has a lot of uh, pieces that'll pop out trust me when I tell you you do not want to put a bunch in I already did that today and regret it believe me I have a little bit right here where those little tabs are sticking out I'm gonna see if I can just kind of shove them out of the way then I'm going to go over my hello with this. This is a Spectrum Noir. It's like a glitter pen. And um, it does the same thing as a Wink of Stella. It adds uh, uh, glitter to your images. And I'm going to do it to the hello first. And then if I like it, I might go over the whole image with it. Or not the whole image, but the flowers. You probably can't see it. That's the thing I always hate when I'm watching a video and somebody uses Wink of Stella and they go, look how cute that looks. It's so glittery. And I'm like, I don't see that at all. I did this one. Can you see that? Hopefully in the light you can see it. When you look at it head on, you can't see it very much. But when you turn it, you can see it. I think I am going to do a little bit on this one because I do like the look of this. I if I didn't talk about my uh, Facebook page, I want to do it. It's the same name, Crafting for Almost Everyone, and I wanted to have an interactive place where my viewers could put their projects or their crafty ideas and share with kind of our community. And so um, all you do is you post. You can't post on someone else's post or else we can't make it big. Okay, Rich says that's stupid when I say that, but you have to make it your a brand new post, and uh, you just where it says write something. I think is what it says. You're gonna put in whatever you want to write, and then right below it, there's a thing that says photo. You click on that, and then you add your photo there. It couldn't be simpler, and it makes me really happy to be able to do that because I love seeing everybody else's projects, especially when um, they're sharing an idea I've never seen before. And believe me, I have seen a lot of new things I've never seen. So um, if you want to share your projects, please go there. It's again the same name, Crafting for Almost Everyone on Facebook. And I would love to have you share anything and everything in the crafty world with us. Um, please do not say anything negative. It is not the, the intent of that page to be anything other than a place to share happy ideas. It's not a place for any negative commentary. Uh, if you want to leave negative commentary, that's what this YouTube is page is for. You can say whatever you want on you know about me and my crafts, but when it comes to uh, people sharing their crafty ideas, I'd prefer it if you would um, save, save any negative commentary for me. So with that, here is my card. You can save the things you cut out, and maybe you'll do just a plain pink card and put the hello on that, or um, I did a get well. Okay, let me then get my stamps, and I'll make some envelopes. I got some new peg stamps. I'm really excited because you know I love them. Let me grab those and some ink, and I'll be right back. All right, so I used my um, heat setting tool on the purple to, um, and I'm just going to stamp some flowers around the edge with vintage violet ink, and this is called Three Ripley Flowers. of our purple cards and there's our purple card to go with it then here's another purple card and on this one I think I'm just going to do the leaves around the edge there we go goes with this one and then here's the one that we've already done to go with this and uh, I have a little pink on the front but I don't care about that Okay, this envelope we're just going to stamp um, on the back with the Blushing Bride. And this is a Brambly Rose. I like the look of this light pink ink when I'm doing things like... Okay, so 
So let me get this stuff out of the way so you can see what we've done. So here is our Get Well card. I think it came out really cute. It's uh, frisky because of the um, glittery, the you know the um, kind of wink of Stella thing from Spectrum Noir. I want to get my inks out of the way because you know I'm going to end up with my card in it if I don't. I apologize for doing that. Okay. All right, and then here are the other ones I made. I made this one that says hello. It has a little piece of fuzz in it that says hello and there's the envelope that it goes with then this one is a happy birthday and that's its envelope I thought that was kind of frisky and then this one says hello and then there's its envelope I hope that you learned oh look it has a little pink on it I hope that you figured out how to embed a, a die cut to make it look really fun and to keep the background consistent and that you'll give this a thumbs up and subscribe please tell one friend about me on social media because i really love that and thanks so much for watching bye bye